heard the noise uh, associated with an implosion. Secondary explosion on Tower 2. Some sort of explosive device. We're obviously having a bit of trouble right now maintaining our location because we just heard one more explosion. There was another major explosion. Do you know anything about those extra no, explosions we heard? No, I do not. Were they car bombs? I have no idea, ma'am. The string shook and I felt like I heard like an explosion. Do you, do you know if it was an explosion or if it was a building collapse? To me, it sounded like it, to me, it sounded like an explosion. We heard a very loud blast, explosion. They were taking photographs and securing this area just prior to that huge explosion that we all heard and felt. Not clear now is why this uh, explosion took place. When there was some sort of collapse or explosion. From street level, as though it had exploded up, a giant rolling ball of flame, and the firefighters screamed, run. It was this blast of warm air. It wasn't hot. It was warm, and it picked me up and threw me up against the wall of the building. I was you were picked up off the ground. Physically picked up off the ground. I remember an explosion. At that point, I got knocked out. I don't remember anything. Then I got up, and I looked out the window because the windows exploded, and the street below caved in. And at that point, there was like fireballs coming up. An hour later than that, we had that big explosion from much, much lower. I don't know what on earth caused that. About 15 minutes after they made their entry. Uh, we heard a boom. I don't know if that was the infrastructure that was going or another explosion. Uh, again, there has been a second explosion. John, just seconds ago there was a huge explosion and it appears right now the second World Trade Tower has just collapsed. All of a sudden I heard rumbling and we all started running away from it. The glass like blew out and threw me onto the sidewalk and I, I couldn't see for like 20 seconds. It was like, it was like holy hell coming down upstairs. And then when we, go, we got, finally got to the bottom, we were coming out. A, a mezzanine level there, and another explosion came right from it because everyone flying. We stuck on the stairs for a while. We finally got down to the lobby. Then we get to the lobby, it was this big explosion. So I was real lucky. I don't know what happened to the people behind me when that blast occurred. And uh, it was actually on the uh, 78th floor of the uh, second tower, and it was evacuating the tower and uh, experienced all these explosions and made his way back down. We presume because of the initial explosion, there may have been secondary explosions as well that were detonated in the building by these terrorists. There was a secondary explosion, probably a device either planted before or on the aircraft that did not explode until an hour later. I heard a second explosion and another rumble and more smoke and more dust. I ran inside the buildings, the chandelier shook, and again, black smoke filled the air. Within another five minutes, we were covered again with more silt and more dust. And then a fire marshal came in and said we had to leave because if there was a third explosion, this building might not last. Eyewitnesses also reported that explosions had taken place in lower levels of both the North and South Tower. Here it comes. Whoa, 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 whoa. They were having coffee in the World Trade Center when the first plane struck. And all of a sudden it sounded like, I don't know where the subway is, but it sounded like a subway collision, a bomb. And it, it, it was just pounding, boom, 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 boom. and I, I literally thought the subway had exploded. And the ladies that are with me were in the World Trade Center on the on, in the first building and escaped through the lobby where they report they believe there was a bomb in the lobby. Just get out of the tunnel. And the the subway tunnel? Yeah. I heard, yes, I was right there. I was in the B, I was down in the basement. Came down. All of a sudden, the elevator blew up. Smoke. I dragged the guy out. His skin was hanging off, and I dragged him out and I helped him out of the, out of, to the ambulance. And when I got up to the concourse level, it was just like, you know, like gunfire, and then and then just three big explosions. And even the turnstile was burnt and it was sticking up, and they just told us to run. I heard the first um, explosion, and the elevator blew up. And as we were coming out, we past the lobby, there was no lobby. So I believe the, the bomb hit the lobby first, and a couple of seconds in the first plane hit. Firefighter John Schroeder arrived in the lobby of the North Tower shortly after the first plane struck. So we're standing there in the lobby, we're getting all together. All of a sudden, we hear... <laughs> I look down to my right, and the elevators exploded, something out of like a Bruce Willis Die Hard movie. People just come running out of the lobby, out of the elevators, on fire, fireball. I mean, it was like, what is going on here? This something's up here. I mean, the plane's up there, now there's fire down here. Uh, people will run around all on fire. This is crazy. So we were heading up to the 24th floor of the stairwell, and 
all of a sudden we heard mayday mayday second plane second plane swift we're looking at each other like come on second plane there's no way there's a second plane within seconds our building got rocked we got bounced around in the stairwell like pinballs man and we just said you know what time to go we got down to the lobby and everything was blown out exploded everything was and we were the only ones in the lobby now we're going wait a second here where is everybody because the building was coming down the outside they moved to the command post the world trade center too so now we're like we're, 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 no, we didn't get up we didn't get no where where is everybody we we were in the lobby all it looks like it, everything was exploded everything was gone we're like what is going on here we didn't know we were like this is crazy but for the ele for the every window in the lobby to be exploded, I mean, them windows were like as thick as forget it. They were two, three inch glasses, you know, come on. They exploded out of the lobby, you know, something, it, it wasn't, it wasn't from the jet fuel. No way. The elevators exploded. They were down from the lobby. The lobby was over here. It, it, that should never have happened. Something would happen there and that wasn't, that wasn't. <clears throat> We came down, it, was, it looked like a bomb went off in the lobby. There was no fire, it just looked like a bomb went off. So, how was the largest and most puzzling architectural failure in history treated? The steel from the World Trade Center was mostly shipped overseas, eliminating any possibility of independent investigations. New York City's Department of Design and Construction contracted four companies for debris removal. Each was assigned a specific zone and controlled and monitored by a three-person team. The operation was so controlled that in November, each dump truck used for removal of debris was fitted with a GPS locator. One driver took an extended lunch break and was dismissed from the job. By April 2002, over 185,000 tons of debris had been removed from Ground Zero. FEMA's Building Performance Assessment Team was not even granted access to Ground Zero. They were granted a tour of the site in early October, but were forbidden from collecting samples or examining blueprints. Out of hundreds of thousands of pieces of steel, 150 were preserved at Fresh Kills Landfill from where FEMA conducted its investigation 